Today in my lap we have a Molecule Motorsport skip plate that is broken, so we're gonna fix that while we're also talking about skip plates a little bit. This is no slander or discredit to Molecule Motorsports. This is just a limitation of the HDPE or UHMW, you know, polyethylene variant material. So they are typically routed as much out of a singular sheet of polyethylene as possible. And they're routed like 60 to 80% of the way through if it's a complex bend. So they run this router through here. It looks like it's about a half an inch. And some of these, some maybe a little bit bigger. Then they heat it up, they bend it in a position, and then they plastic weld it to kind of backfill it and hold it in its area. So with that, it has broken along that bend. They've got to get it to sit back in its same spot, which is about like this. And we need to make sure that we have enough room on here that we can plastic weld it back together. Now we've got this clamped in place to where it's at least moderately safe. And we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're just gonna try to open this area up to get more exposure to the new plastic welder we're gonna put in place. We have got plenty of visible room in here now for where we can put plastic welder and staples in here. For the plastic welding, we're gonna stick this tip on here. There are other tips and sometimes better tips, but essentially the way it works is this or the staple head gets hot when you push this button. And we're gonna crank this thing up to four. And this is what a plastic welding rod looks like. It is uh, polyethylene, so you can get it off of Amazon. I wanna get as close to the same material as I could with this. And essentially what we're gonna do is put this in place. You can see it's melting the actual polyethylene skid plate material, as well as the filler that they used. And we're just gonna keep pushing it in until it's it looks fused pretty well. And then we'll go to another spot over here that it's touching, hopefully, and see if we can fuse it again, just so we've got a good area to work off of. Okay. I'm thinking that should hold it in place all right. So now we'll take this plastic rod and we're just gonna try to work it in here as best as we can. It's kind of tricky from this angle. But we're just gonna keep trying to work this in here. And again, guys, this is absolutely no shade to molecule. The way I ride this bike, this would have happened with any of them. And that's where you have to think about the differences, the pros and cons between a skid plate out of, you know, UHMW or high density polyethylene and one that's aluminum. Personally, I would rather have a plastic welder and fix this every once in a while versus dealing with the clattering an extra weight of aluminum. So it's just one of those trade-offs. And these plastic welders are about hundred bucks, but we wanna make sure that once we get it spread out a little bit, it's actually melting the two pieces together. We want that to be like one fused piece. So we don't wanna just heat up one side, just heat up the other side. I'll try to get this all to like a workable heat. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, you can only fuse so much of it. You know, this isn't like normal welding penetration where we've got a quarter inch or thicker piece of aluminum and we're going to fuse it all the way from one side to the other. You know, this is, this is pretty minimal. So we're going to put some staples in here in a minute too and hope that that will keep us in place. We'll also go along the outside of this. And let's see. Try to get this all good and hot here. Molecule I've talked to, uh, they're good dudes. Again, no slander or shade to those guys. It's just a fact of using these, these products. They all have their drawbacks and pros and cons. So just pick what you can live with but they recommended trying to plastic weld as best I can. So we're gonna let it kind of sink into both areas, get it good and hot, try to fuse it. 
And so now we're just going to try to clean this up a little bit. I don't know how clean we're actually going to get it, but try to make it look better than my steel welds. Which that bar is pretty low. Now we're going to try to wrap this corner over here. All right, so now we're doing the outside of this. And we just got this thing hot. It's cranked up to its hottest setting. And we're going along this exterior seam. And we're just trying to get it good melting about as far through as we can and fuse it as deep as we can. So we're just slowly dragging this and trying to get it to stay together as best as possible. So we're not going to make multiple passes or anything. We're just trying to get it as melted and deep as we can. We got the sticker. I was trying to, was trying to keep the sticker on there. But that's not going to work. Well, okay, that's not too bad. I don't know what all this can take. It's really more of just if I drop it, but that's, uh, that's how the finished deal looks. And I'll take a grinder, really a flapper will probably be better. Just come over here and clean this up a little bit, knock some of those edges off. I'm not terribly worried about it. I may smooth them down some. But anyhow, that's plastic weld together. Now I'm gonna run some hot staples into this so you guys can see that process a little bit. The way this works is you take the flat staple, this is a 0.8 millimeter flat staple, you insert it into the end of this. So if you're like me with bad eyesight, go get your glasses on. And then we're gonna fit it in. You hit the button, it gets hot, okay? So now we're gonna take it and we're going to hold it right where we want it. Hold the button, heat it up, sink it in, so I don't know how much strength this is actually gonna add, but anything I can do to tie these two pieces together, I'm going to, to just to give ourselves the uh, best odds of having a successful fix here. So about, I don't know, an inch apart, we're just gonna run these in, heat it up, sink it in, let go, pull it out. So now I've got the outside seam, we're gonna start on the flat area, do the same thing. All right, everything's good and flush. We'll do the same thing on the inside and then we'll be done. Nice. All right, guys, we have got this thing all cleaned up and done. That is about as solid of a fix as you can do on these UHMW or HDPE polyethylene skid plates. So that's all for now. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure you drop it down in the comments.